Hi, Brian McAvoy with Inside Out Trading here, and I've got kind of a different video for you today. I mean, this is really, in just a few minutes, three simple steps to make more money more consistently with your trading. Seriously, it, it really is as simple as this. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you got to do, step one, is really kind of get clear on what you're trying to do. Uh, there's so many people that come to me, I mean, even, you know, astute business people, when I, when I talk to them, when I ask them, you know, what their plan is for their trading, they make lots of money, or, you know, I just want to make some money. And they have this, it's not even a North Star goal. It's so vague that it's, it's really worthless. I mean, yes, there's the motivation there to make money, but there's no kind of, no kind of goal or structure or target. And it's really important that you have some sort of idea, you know, what you want to make, you know, how much you want to make, what is it you're striving for as far as, you know, your goals, that, that you're, what is it you're, that you're trying to accomplish or wanting to achieve. Now, there's some really important reasons why this matters. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. Now, step two is really, again, super important where some clarity will go a long way to helping you make more money and lose less money and make more, make more money consistently. Step two is to get clear about your process what you're doing with your trading. I have so many people come to me and they're like, Brian, I just can't seem to make money. I can't seem to settle down. And what they're trading with is either so vague or it's so dynamic and it's just changing all the time or they have this big monster mishmash of bits and pieces of systems that they've seen over the years. And the big problem with all this is what they're working with, is sub it, it changes all the time. Or again, it's so vague or it has gaps or it's holes or it's confusing they don't have a simple clear process for doing their trading and if you want to make money and make money consistently and reliably you need to have something simple that's where the repeatability is going to come into it simple and clear process for how you're going to get into and out of the markets profitably i know ultra simple but you'd be amazed how many people don't do it they're going off a hunch is still they're still massively discretionary traders or again they're working with a you know this one monster of a system that's a conglomeration of systems and bits and pieces of this that and the other thing that they've seen over the years and all like that and and you know if they were to write it all down they'd have a 20 page document you think I'm kidding it's crazy what what some people are trying to trade with and then you also have your other people on the other end so well, you know I got on a Netflix when it first started and so you know I thought it was a good idea and so you know I just started trading and they're totally hunch trading you got to have us again a simple clear process okay that's step two. Now, this is going to be a really short video. It really is this simple. Step three is really to get yourself and everything that you're doing aligned. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, first of all, you got to get your mind right about all this. Treat it like a real business, not just some money-making game that you're playing. This isn't Vegas. This isn't a casino. It's not Atlantic City. This is a business. You need to approach it mentally from that perspective that you're going to be serious about it. You know it's a long-term endeavor. It's not a, you know, hey, I'm going to jump into it for a rush today to make some money and ah, I'm going to ride the emotional roller coaster. No, I'm going to settle down. I'm going to get organized. I'm going to get properly prepared. And mentally, I'm going to, appro I'm going to approach this the right way. So you get your mind aligned with your goals. Again, this is where the goals come in. And now, another thing about the goals, I said we'd come back to this. As far as having some specific goal, from a psychological standpoint, if you have no idea how much you're trying to make or what's realistic for your process, again, you got to have a process to even know what to expect from it. If you don't have a process, if it's just, the, you know, I want to just make some money, how are you ever going to know if you're winning or losing? You have nothing to go by. So you need some sort of a specific goal to know if you're on track toward that goal, if you're reaching that goal, if you're winning, if you're not winning, if you're making progress, if you're not. You can't just look at it, you know, am I making money or not? That's way too vague. That's going to totally mess with you psychologically. And you could be doing well. You could be doing a lot of things right. You, you could be doing most things right. But, again, if you don't have these, these, these anchor points, these reference points, you can be beating yourself up, and it, it can be totally inappropriate. You, you can be, like I said, you can be doing a lot of things right, and you'll be beating yourself up, and it's like, no, actually, I'm, 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 for what I'm working with, I'm doing okay. You got to have the goals there. You got to have the measurables. You got to have your goal. You got to have the process, a measurable process. So that's on the mind side. And to go right along with that, you got to have your habits and routines really aligned with your goals and desires. Are you, are you going about things in a, in a routinely methodical and productive 
manner that is keeping you aligned with your goals? Are you are you heading into your trading, you know, in, in a, a good clear manner with a good routine to start the day? It's a good healthy one to get you grounded. Or are you sitting there listening to the news and reading the you know the Wall Street Journal and getting yourself all hyped up and getting you know, getting your mouth watering and everything? Getting yourself, you know, emotional and all fired up, and getting your hopes up and everything before you ever start trading. Or, or again, are you listening to CNBC, or you know, you got something negative? Do you have a good, healthy grounding routine? And during the day, do you have, you know, during the trading hours, do you have good habits and routines that are supportive of, you know, good trading, making good decisions, taking timely action, keeping calm, keeping clear on what you're doing? Next thing, as far as alignment, trading is a skill-based business. Are your skills and is your skill level in alignment with your goals, what you're working with, and what you're trying to accomplish? If it's not, if you if you aren't skilled up to the level that you need to be for what you're trying to do, and most traders aren't, don't be offended. I, it took me a long time to realize that too. Trading is a skill-based business, and if you're trying to trade and you are lacking skills, it's going to be rough, and it's really going to be rough to make money, and it's going to be even tougher to make it consistently. If you're lacking skills, that's where you're going to struggle to make it. And when you do make it, it's going to be real hard to keep it because, again, you're lacking skills. That's where you're going to be a lot of shooting from the hip trading, a lot of emotional trading. You're leaving yourself wide open to self-sabotage. And that's the other thing about the skills. If you don't have the skills, you're sub subconsciously you know this. And your subconscious will sabotage. Okay. Um, as far as your actions, you know, this goes back to the, the you know your habits and routines. But consciously, are your actions... In alignment with your desires. Now, here's some of what I'm talking about. A little more general, general not necessarily the day-to-day -day habits, but in general, are you taking time to plan out the whole endeavor? Do you take time once a month, or at least, you know, at least once a month, preferably once a week, to be very conscious about what you're doing? To think, you know, am I going about this in a smart way? Am I is what I've been doing is, has it been working? Do I need to make some changes? And if I do, if I do make some changes, what are some realistic changes? Not some hyped up, you know, notion that I saw on a webinar. The guy got me all fired up and you know, make ten thousand dollars a day. BS. No, rational, just good thinking. And then, are you acting on the rational thinking? So, are your actions in alignment with your goals and desires? And then, lastly, and this is real simple, is your environment conducive to good trading? Is your desk clean, neat, and organized? Is your desktop and your computer is it neat and clean and organized? And in general, I mean, as far as audio, your, your visual, everything, is your environment conducive to good trading? Is it in alignment with good trading and putting, you know, getting you to your goals? Okay, so those are the three things. Let's recap it real quick. You got, you know, what are you trying to accomplish? Do you have some clear, specific goals for your trading and what you're trying to accomplish? Do you have a clear, simple, repeatable process for getting in and out of the markets that's in alignment with your goals? And again, again, alignment. As far as alignment, is your mind in alignment with your goals? Huge. You got to be. You got to mentally be in alignment with your goals, and not just chasing money and being, you know, enjoying the emotional ride and the rush and all that kind of stuff. Your habits, your skills, your environment, your actions. All these things need to be in alignment. If they're not then that means that part of you and what you've got going on is working against your you know your your conscious goals of making money and making more money consistently. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. It really can be this simple. A lot of times people are overcomplicating it or they're underestimating certain things that are very necessary. They don't necessarily have to be hard or super complex, but they need to be attended to. I hope you found this helpful. I really do. That's why I recorded it. If you have found it helpful, share it with your friends. They'll thank you. The other thing is, is, go ahead and swing by InsideOutTrading.com. I know this was just you know an overview. It's a 10-minute video. It certainly is going to take more than 10 minutes to learn everything you need to know about you know how to be a winning trader. Got lots of free resources for you at InsideOutTrading.com. Swing by there. You can get, you can have at them again. They're free, and they're all geared to help you become become a better, more successful trader. Not just you know things uh, to you know and new shiny things to add to your collection. I'm all about helping you become a fully self-sufficient, fully independent, truly independent trader. That's why I do what I do. And I, I know that just, I mean, just because you're here demonstrates to me that you've got what it takes to be a successful trader. You just need the good help in becoming the trader that you need to be to be successful and really enjoy it and enjoy success comfortably. That's why that's what I'd love to help you with. Again, swing by inside out trading, pick up a free report. Got a really excellent report for you there and amongst other freebies. Share this with your friends. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.